What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. It is a ranking video and I know it's been a while since we've done one, but guess what? We have watched all four Ghoulies films and I promised you all a ranking video. So today you're going to hear my thoughts and my opinions, where the films lay against each or where they lie against each other, why they're at the spot they're at. And of course, that means this is just my opinion, my thoughts. That means I would love to hear from all of you down below, share your ranking and your feelings on the Ghoulies franchise. So there's four films for us to discuss. So let's do this. Roll it. So Ghoulies is quite an interesting franchise, a small horror creature franchise type flick, you know, very reminiscent of Gremlins or Critters or Puppet Master. Those are some other very similar types of films that are in the same category of horror subgenre that I would classify this in. But Ghoulies, like I said, four films we must discuss. There's got to be a bottom of the barrel. The last spot for me, number four, is going to go to Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College. For me, this is just the one that had the tones the most messed up because they went for straight up full-on comedy the ghoulies get bigger in this film they talk in this film which that actually takes me out of the film a lot more the ghoulies and they're very slapsticky type comedy that doesn't land for me it's very much like three stooges or marx brothers type comedy but it doesn't it just doesn't work for me in this movie and this is a frat house type film very much a animal house or american pie type comedy as well so it just on many levels didn't hit the tone or the vibes that i wanted especially after seeing ghoulies 2 i wanted much more balance of horror and comedy and i thought they were going to get it right but yeah they kind of tanked it Coming in at our number three spot, this one quite surprised me because I expected this one to be the bottom of the barrel, and this is Ghoulies 4, and I gave them a very similar rating, but in terms of my enjoyment factor, I very much enjoyed Ghoulies 4 over the third one, and Ghoulies 4 is quite interesting because it's the only one in the franchise that ties itself to that first film. We have our actor Peter Leopis back, who comes to play Jonathan, the same character in this film, but this one I like the campy nature of it. It's got this low budget, straight to DVD feel to it. And that's that's exactly what it was, but it's got that feel and it hones it to perfection. And it's also got this campy like Black Widow type character girl in there that is freaking fantastic. So there's all these elements of this one that make it stick out and make it more memorable to me than Ghoulies Go to College. But there are some negatives too with this one, like the ghoulies are completely different again. And instead of using practical effects and more puppetry work type stuff, they use real live actors, small actors in body suits. So yeah, just weird choices in this one as well. And the third act that didn't quite meet what I wanted it to be. They tease another film. We're never going to get that. So yeah, Ghoulies 4 still left a lot to be desired. Now we're here at the number two spot, the runner up, and this one's going to be Ghoulies from 1985, the film that started it all. And this film has a cool foundation, a nice premise that I enjoyed and what they kicked off with it. This one probably, I would say in terms of horror vibes, actually is probably the most horror centered out of all the films, I would say, to be honest, this one is. It's just Pacing wise, it takes a long time to take off. It takes about 45 minutes before anything really starts to get going in this film. And at this point, our lead actor that plays Jonathan, I didn't like his portrayal in this film. And some of the side actors, I'm like, yeah. So yeah, this one was like a good formula but I wanted them to execute it and hone it properly and we would see what would happen in the sequel, which you're gonna, we're gonna talk about right now because you know which one is number one now. So like I said, it's no secret, the number one spot, the top dog is gonna be Ghoulies 2. Yes, in terms of the sequel, this one met my expectations of more of what I wanted from a Ghoulies film. There's more silly Ghoulies antics. There's still some horror elements and better death scenes in this film than the previous film, but the comedy elements land better in this film. And there's actual character arcs, character development, and I feel like the actors all across the board, pretty much everybody in this film, is better than the previous film. So yeah, Ghoulies 2 is just a better elevation of the first film. Like I said, it has greater cinematography, better music, and all the stuff that I really wanted out of a Ghoulies film. Is this film perfect? No, this isn't a perfect film either. There is a third act that does take a little bit too long and it just keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going and it takes you out of the film a little bit, especially by the time you made it all the way to the third act for it to be this long sequence that takes about like 10 plus minutes and it's just like, ah, you know, it's a little uncomfortable to watch, but 
yeah, Ghoulies 2 is, like I said, much, is more up my alley in terms of what I wanted and stuff and gave me the enjoyment that I wanted out of this franchise. But like I said, these are just my thoughts and my opinions on the Ghoulies franchise. Please let me know down below in the comment section what is your ranking. And this was really fun. I'm happy that you all chose this because, like I said, this was a winner of my Twitter poll and my Facebook community page of people voting and they wanted me to tackle this franchise. So it's really fun. I went through all of them and I can say, you know, 2024 was the year that I binged all the Ghoulies films and I'll always have this record of it where I recorded you know the rad movie reviews and the rankings and stuff and thank you for sticking around with me all because it's been a really fun journey I got a lot of other videos planned so make sure you're subscribed to the channel especially if you're new if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button it's free there's nothing it costs nothing just hit that button and like the video that definitely helps out the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I drop a video but most importantly I want you all to have a safe and happy day Peace out.